everybody i've got these four packages from ebay i've been buying some more baseball cards online so i've spent about a thousand bucks this week on baseball cards i'm gonna open them up and show you what i got all right let's start off with this first package here have to open it carefully so i don't destroy any of the cards our first card this is a Lou Pinella rookie card. It is a 1964 Tops. It is a PSA graded card, and it's graded to a seven, which is pretty good for a 1964 Tops card. Uh, those are pretty old, so that's not too bad. And there's another card right behind it. We have a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. This is a 1983 Tops. It's PSA graded also at a seven. And there are some more cards in here. This is Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie, 1989 Don Russ, also grades out to a seven. I always like the PSA uh, grading cards the best. I don't really care for any other um, companies that do this. Next up, we've got a Paul Molitor rookie card and Alan Trammell rookie card. Both Hall of Famers, both on the same card. It is a PSA 7, which is not too bad for 1978 tops. After that, we have, how about this, Carlton Fisk rookie card. Uh, Carlton Fisk is in the Hall of Fame, and it is a PSA 7, and it's marked ST. I don't know if I noticed this when I was bidding on this. Um, that kind of sucks. The ST means that there's a stain on the back. You can see that there is a light mark where I guess that would be where the wax would be this card was on the back of the pack so Carlton Fisk rookie card PSA 7 with a stain on it unfortunately and then we have a Don Mattingly rookie card PSA 7 1984 Don Russ pretty nice looking card right there so that is a total of six cards um, I was supposed to get seven I thought no Never mind. Uh, PSA 7 graded rookies lot of 6. Okay, so that's correct. So this first package, it cost me $81 for all these cards. Free shipping. So I'm hoping to flip some of these cards, uh, obviously, to make... If I can make back uh, like $120, i would be happy. So I'm going to put all these on eBay and uh, wish me luck on these. Let's get on to the next package. I'm going to have to open this one carefully. Oh, it is a double uh, package here, which is good. You always want to have more uh, packing on these things. You don't want them to get damaged in the mail. Looks like, um, oh, it's triple. A triple pack job by this guy. And I think this, I gotta see what it is first. I think this cost me $460. I'm going to show you here in a second. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Yeah, this is this is 460 bucks. This is a mystery lot of 1952 Topps baseball cards. Possible Mickey Mantle rookie card in here, but you know, it's probably not. I mean, who in their right mind would do that? But these cards alone, I figure there's 58 cards here. 58 1962 Topps cards. Um, so I paid roughly, um, I don't know, what's the math on that real quick? Less than $10 a card, obviously. And these are, they're like a high grade 1952 top. So I could probably get these graded and they would probably come out to maybe be um, maybe like five or sixes. So they're not creased up. Let's see who we got. 1952 tops. These cards are super old. Hank Thompson, Bob Elliott. Gene Hermansky, Ferris Fane. Um, here's the first guy that I've actually heard of, Gil Hodges. You've probably heard of Gil Hodges before. He is a Hall of Famer. That's a good one. I'm not sure what it's worth. Uh, Gordon Goldsbury, Jim Russell, Don Mueller, Miller, Tommy, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, these are nice. Here's another one. Enos Slaughter. If you play the show, he's like an 86 diamond in the show, and I've got doubles of them. 
Um, not really sure if he made the Hall of Fame or not, but uh, it's a pretty nice card. The, the corners are sharp and everything. Um, this one's a little off center. Let's see what the back look like. Uh, looks like on these cards, not too bad. Here's a Yankee, Bob and something or other, Johnny LaPon. Um, okay, this one's miscut. Let's see if there's anyone else good here. I'm gonna have to go through and put all these on eBay. Hopefully make my money back. I've heard of Johnny Mize. Uh, he was a slugger. This one's a little miscut, you can see the top. Um, cards from the 50s were often miscut. Uh, just because of the technology back then was not the greatest. All right, next up we have Bob Rush, Bob Usher. Um, let's see if there's anybody good in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this wasn't a good... Whoa, what is going on here? This guy's name's been whited out or erased. That was weird. I don't think that's an error card. I think somebody just was messing with the card and altered it. Well, if I can at least make a hundred bucks on this, uh, sell all these over the next year or two for like, I don't know, 15, 20 dollars a piece would be nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. Don't want to waste too much time on those since nobody knows who the heck any of those guys are probably. This is our next package. And I'll open it up and then see what we have and I'll tell you how much I paid for it so you can let me know in the comments if I did good or did bad. And now that baseball season's winding down, I can focus more on eBay. And one of the things I do is buy and sell. If you want to make money on eBay, you got to spend money either on eBay or some other way of getting inventory. All right, so here are the first two cards that we have. These are 1962 Topps cards. We have a couple Hall of Famers, Al Kaline and Warren Spawn. I know the Warren Spawn is worth $40 because I offered this one up on Patreon uh, to my Patreon followers. I let them pick the giveaway for the week and this is one of the options. I think right now this has two votes and it is trailing, I think an Indian's jersey. So we'll see what ends up winning on that. This book's for 40, like I said. Um, let's see what else is in this lot. Stick it into this. All right, there we go. Lots of tape. All right, the next card we have is a Brooks Robinson 1962 Tops. It is his all-star card and it is a PSA 5, which is not too bad. This next one is probably going to be the best card in this lot. It's a Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays, uh, PSA 3. These grades um, are based on the condition of the card. You can see the corners are a little bit rounded. Not terrible, I mean it's not creased or anything. If it was creased it would be a 1. Um, but this is probably worth, I don't know, 60 bucks maybe. And the last card in this lot is a Willie Mays all-star card. It is a PSA 5. Um, these cards cost just like 17 bucks, I think, just to get graded. So um, this lot right here, I paid for these five cards. I paid 71.25 plus 350 shipping. So give or take 75 bucks for all of these. Hoping to make a profit, maybe sell all of them for, I don't know, 100 bucks. The graded cards will definitely sell a lot easier than the non-graded cards. All right, this is the last package for a thick package, and it already has a hole in it, so that's convenient for opening this thing. Let's see what we got here. It's wrapped in a bubble mailer, which we get free from, from eBay with our eBay stores. I have the $250 a month eBay store. Uh, it allows me for uh, 10,000 free items. I think I only have like 2,000 up there though, so I'm, I really need to go and get some more items listed to take full advantage of my Anchor Store subscription. But they give you $150 worth of shipping supplies every quarter, which is every three months. So I get lots of uh, bubble mailers so I don't ever have to go to the store. The only thing I really have to have is tape. 
All right, and this is my final eBay item that I purchased this week. There are 20 cards here, and they're all the same card. It's Ken Griffey Jr. Score traded rookie card, and they are all perfect tens. Every single one of these cards is graded a perfect 10, which is the highest uh, that you can get. Uh, it's obviously worth the most. There's a big price differential between cards that are graded out to be tens and cards that are graded out to be nines even. Uh, the price can be drastic. Um, these cards are worth a PSA 10, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card for score. It goes for about 30 to 35 bucks on eBay, just looking at the sold listings. Uh, obviously his best rookie card, uh, you probably already know it, it's 1989 Upper Deck. And if I had that PSA 10, then we're looking at hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But still, this is pretty good. I got 20 of these and I paid $418 for 20 of them plus 725 shipping. So if I sold them all for 30, I would have 600 bucks. Uh, so I could probably make $150 profit after fees on all of these. That's what I'm hoping for. But that's everything I got this week. I'll probably do some more of these videos as I am buying more and more stuff on eBay recently. I've got a big sum of money in my PayPal account that I just haven't touched in a while. So I'm planning on spending it all um, to get some more inventory for my eBay store. And I will be doing more of these videos probably maybe like once a week. If you'd like to send me some stuff to open up, it can be some cool baseball cards, some packs, um, whatever. Um, my address is P.O. Box 402. Pleasant Unity PA 15676. Uh, be sure to just throw a note in the package with your name and if you want a shout out for your YouTube channel or your tw Twitter handle or Instagram or whatever, I'll put it in there. But that's it everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which cards were the best. Let me know if I got ripped off or if I did a good job. And I'll see you later. This week's giveaway is three baseball cards. We have a Francisco Lindor rookie card, a Jose Uribe 1990 Fleer, which there is some pandemonium going on on eBay still over this card. Um, I sold one for $150. Lots of other people have sold theirs from between 50 and 100 bucks. And a Jose Fernandez rookie card. All you have to do to win all three cards is leave a comment on every video throughout this week and I will choose a winner for these three cards next Sunday. Good luck.